Here's the deal. You don't want to plan a dull office party, and they certainly don't want to come to one, right? So what do you say we spice it up and make your company parties the highlight of the year? Welcome to the Elevate Experiences YouTube channel, where we share tips and best practices for your next event. Event planning can be described as challenging, fun, exciting, overwhelming, and about a hundred other words at the same time, right? And when it comes to planning office parties, especially around the holidays, you want to create the same cookie cutter thing, right? In this video, I'm going to give you three ideas you can execute to make your company party a smash hit. And listen, be sure to stick around at the end because I'm going to give you a free resource that you can use to help you in this process of making a great event for you and for your guests. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can take advantage of the many tips and tricks we share from Elevate to help you plan a successful and memorable event. And I want to talk shop a little bit about your next corporate event. My goal in this video is to provide you with some of the steps to take to make your holiday party fantastic. Now these three ideas are super realistic and they'll really spice things up and make your company event the highlight of the year. Idea number one, simple, choose a theme. This sounds like elementary, but let me tell you, many companies don't take the time to choose a unique theme for each event, and as a result, the party can feel very stale and like the normal thing they've done year in and year out. Choosing a different theme will help you avoid the stale template syndrome and instead free you up to plan an experience that's exciting and meaningful for your team. So how do you choose the right theme for your event? First up, you'll want to consider your company culture. If your culture is a little more hip and laid back, you might be able to get away with a trendy theme like the hot topic on Twitter or whatever TV show is the main conversation around the office, or even some local favorites that are well known around your company's flavor and in the town. If your company culture is a little more corporate or conservative, choose a theme that is risk-free of going against your company's values, but still fun and exciting for your team. One great tip for choosing a theme is to host a brainstorming session and invite others into the room. Create an environment where all ideas are welcomed and you can hear what others have to say. It's incredible how many fresh ideas come to the surface when a group of people ideate together. I guarantee you'll land on an idea far greater than what one person could come up with by themselves. And as a bonus, you'll most likely end up with a handful of future themes you can use down the road because here's a fantastic quote, people support what they help create. What has been your all-time favorite event theme? Drop a comment below and share, because I'd love to hear it, and I'm sure folks that stop by would love to learn about a theme you came up with, your team, that was fantastic, so let us know. All right, the second way you can spice up things is to incorporate a little competition. Many people love competing against each other in the office, and this is a great way to keep your event from becoming the uh, boring food leave type of thing. Friendly competition can add humor, excitement, and engagement to your event and will absolutely make your holiday party more memorable than a simple cake and punch mingling hour. There are a couple different ways you can do this. You can have a competition that leads up to your event or you can incorporate your competition at the event itself. An example of competition prior to the event might be uh, splitting into teams and collecting items for a food pantry. Um, you could have people do this for three weeks leading up to the event and then announce the winner and a prize during that actual party. Something like this will build momentum and create excitement leading up to your party. Now examples of competitions at the event itself might be uh, a simple quiz idea, maybe an eggnog chugging contest, a gingerbread house building contest, or a themed scavenger hunt. There's many ways to bring this in in a fun way. Whether adults like to admit it or not, games aren't only enjoyed by kids. In my experience, anytime I've brought friendly competition into an event, people let loose, have fun, or remark about the excitement long after that experience. Now you want to incorporate elements into your office party that help make it memorable so people want to come to the next one. And speaking of incorporating memorable elements, that brings me to the third and final idea for spicing up your office holiday party. Prioritize crowd engagement. Regardless of the holiday, the theme, the number of guests in the room, crowd engagement is essential to creating a remarkable event. And it's something that many event planners don't always think about incorporating. Anytime I've executed an event, the crowd engagement pieces far outweigh the food, music, decor, or anything else. Trust me, if you're planning an office party, you definitely want to include a few ways to engage your guests. Engaging the guests is one of my favorite things to do, and really at any event, I really think about how can I make someone smile or engage more? And I got a free gift for you. 
There is a crowd engagement gift that you can look at the description, click and download. It's going to help you really think about how to make your next event your best event. All right, if you're excited about these three office party ideas, go ahead and click that thumbs up and let me know you enjoyed the video. Now be sure you subscribe to the channel um, so you can get all the up-to-date event planning tips and tricks. I hope you get after it and plan something awesome and something that folks remark about for a long time.